Welcome to another new lesson in Earth and Life Science. So for today, we will be discussing uh, some important characteristics of our planet Earth. Okay, so the planet Earth is the only known planet to have life. So compared to other planets like Mercury, Venus, or other nearby planets, Ang Earth lang actually ang merong life. So because nga ang ating planet Earth is the only planet to have life, so, pwede na sang mating masabi, this makes the planet Earth a unique planet. Unique, kakaiba. Kasi nga, compared to other planets, ang Earth lang ang merong life. Okay, so, being a unique planet, and the only planet with life, the question is why? Why is Earth habitable? Parang what are the factors that make this planet habitable? Why? Why Why there is life on planet Earth? Ano ba yung mga factors na meron sa planet Earth na makes it livable or habitable? So also, bakit yun nga? Uh, meron mga life forms na pwede mag-exist. So, pwede nating masabi, number one is, the planet Earth has liquid water. So, alam naman natin na ang water is a very important component of life. So, so being a very important component of life, uh, nakaka nakakapag-contribute siya sa continuity of life on the planet Earth. So, 70% of the Earth's surface is actually covered with water. So, tawag nga, tawag nga natin sa Earth ay the blue planet. Because of the amount of water is present in our planet. Okay, so another factor is the Earth has the right distance from the Sun. Ano ba tong, the Earth has the right distance? So, pag sinabi natin right distance, we can say that the planet Earth ay, it's not too far from the Sun and it's not too near. Why? Because if our planet is too near the Sun, what effect is this? It's going to be planet hot, right? So hot. If it's so hot, very far from the planet Earth, it's so hot. Okay. So, we can say that that's right. Because ang planet Earth natin has the right distance from the sun. Maganda yung temperature ng planet Earth natin. Very ideal para magkaroon ng life forms. Okay, another factor is ang Earth natin is protected from harmful solar radiation by its magnetic field. Okay. So, malapit, hindi naman tayo masyadi ng malapit. Pero, we're very also near the sun. So, yung, actually, yung sun, nag-i-emit siya ng solar radiation, which is, which can be very harmful, di ba, sa, sa atin, okay. So, kaya nga, di ba, yung mga, nagpupunta tayo sa mga beach, naglalagay tayo ng mga, lotion or parang pang protect from the harmful radiation ng sun okay kasi nga ang sun meron niyang harmful radiation radiation eh. okay but thankfully ang earth merong magnetic field okay so yung magnetic field ng earth yun ang nagpo-protect sa atin from the harmful from the harmful solar radiation
Now, ang Earth also uh, blessed with an atmosphere, insulating atmosphere. So, pag sinabi natin insulating, parang protection, cover. Okay. So, ang Earth meron yung atmosphere na serves as protection. Protection from what? Okay. So, yung protection from yung extreme temperature. Okay. Kasi, yung insulation, yung, yung atmosphere natin, okay, is also one way of, ano, uh, helps in keeping the earth warm. Okay. So, mostly, we're referring tinatawag natin greenhouse gases na part yun ng atmosphere. Eh. So, yung greenhouse gases na yun helps <clears throat> also in trapping the heat from the earth. Another factor ng ating uh, planet Earth is yung right amounts of ingredients for life. Okay. So, ano ba yung mga ingredients for life? Ang pinaka-basic talaga, majority na pinaka-important ingredient dyan, yung carbon and water. Kasi nga, lahat, lahat ng living organisms ay made up of carbon, ng element carbon. Okay. And... We need water also for survival, for, for proper metabolism ng ating katawan, okay? So, we need water. So, na-blessed ang ating planet. Maraming ingredients na needed for life. So, like oxygen gas also needed for life yan. And yun nga, carbon dioxide kailangan naman ng plant. So, uh, na-blessed ang ating planet na maraming Maraming ingredients necessary for life. So, let's take a look naman at the similarities of our planet with its neighboring planet, yung Mars and Venus. So, ito yung mga similarities nila. Number one, they are all terrestrial planets, meaning they are made up of solid rocks and silicates. They all have an atmosphere. So, meron din mga gases sila kasi may atmosphere sila. So, they almost have the same time to rotate on their axis. Ibig sabihin, almost. Yung pag-ikot nila from their axis, almost the same. Uh, siguro, medyo may difference lang ng konti. Earth and Mars both have water. And they all have carbon dioxide and they all have landforms. So, these are the similarities of Earth, Venus, and Mars. So, let's take a look at naman at the differences of these three planets. Okay, so no, no, number one, ang Venus has no water. Walang tubig dun. Okay, Venus and Mars don't have oxygen. And Earth has life form. So, yun na nga. So, Earth lang talaga ang may life form. Kasi, una-una, Venus, Mars, wala silang oxygen. Eh, kailangan ng oxygen eh. Uh, ng mga living things, di ba? Especially mga animals. Venus has no water. Okay, so kailangan, is isang very important component din ng life, ang water. But, Mars actually have carbon dioxide. So, yun. Baka may possibility na baka mayroong plants dun uh, sa so Mars. Kasi nga, di ba, ang, ang plants need carbon dioxide. So, sa so Mars may carbon dioxide. Eh. Ang wala lang sa Mars kasi oxygen. Eh. Okay. Okay, so... Teka, balikan muna natin. So, let's review muna. Okay, balikan natin. Let's summarize. So, sabi natin, planet Earth is the only planet to have... known planet to have life. So, this makes our planet a very unique planet. Okay, so being a unique, being planet with only life, the question is why? Why 
is our planet of life. Ano ba yung meron sa planet natin? So, pwede natin isa-isahin yun. Uh, pwede natin sa number one, yung planet Earth may liquid water. Kasi yung water is a very important component of life. So, then, ang planet natin has the right distance from the sun. So, kaya nga, pag right distance from the sun, uh, very optimum yung temperature. Hindi natin pwedeng masabing mainit, sobrang init, hindi pwede naman siya Right distance eh. So, ang nagkataon din ng planet Earth natin, mayroong magnetic field. So, yung magnetic field na yun, yun na nagpro-protect from the Earth from yung mga harmful solar radiation. So, ang ating planet Earth din, mayroon siyang atmosphere. So, it helps in insulating. Pag sinabi ni insulating, parang it helps in trapping the heat. Matatrap yung heat sa Earth. And also, it has the right amounts of ingredients for life, including carbon and water. Okay, sabi natin, yung Earth is blessed with important components necessary for life. So, ang uh, pinaka-importante dyan yung carbon and water. And other elements like oxygen, carbon dioxide. Actually, yung mga ibang elements necessary din yun, eh, like yung nitrogen. So, nitrogen is needed by plants. Tayo sa katawan natin, may nitrogen tayo eh. Then, with, uh, ano, tinignan natin yung similarities between planet Earth, Mars, and Venus. So, yun nga, nakita natin na they are all made of rocks, they all have atmosphere, they rotate on the same axis. Earth and Mars both have water, they all have carbon dioxide, and they all have landforms. So, differences naman. So, Venus has no water, kaya walang life sa Venus. Venus and Mars don't have oxygen, kaya wala rin life doon. And Earth has life forms. Why? Kasi nga, yung mga na-discuss natin kanina, yun ang mga contributing factors why Earth has life forms. Now, if we compare din sa ibang planets, basically, kaya importante yung paano dyan, yung oxygen. Yung oxygen. Earth has, mayroong oxygen ang Earth. Okay, so thank you for watching and listening to this lesson. See you in the next lesson.